Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we are looking at a mild start to the work week. More on that coming up in just a few minutes. First, though, let's take you out to our city cam. And you can see it's turning out to be a clear night. Actually, multiple reports. I just checked our report it function, and we've seen uh, multiple emails coming in that people have seen uh, meteors across not only Rhode Island, but the rest of New England tonight. And we'll try to look up that information to let you know where that came from. But certainly a nice night to see something like that. And as we take a look at our current temperatures, 37 in Providence, Gloucester, 34 degrees, Newport at 37, New Bedford at 37 degrees. Right now, the winds in Providence out of the northwest at 7 miles an hour, humidity at 56%. And Newport, not too bad right now, 30 to 7 degrees with those winds also out of the northwest. So a mild Monday on the way. We're talking temperatures close to the low 50s. Very unsettled as we go throughout the work week. We're not talking talking about big storms at this point, but certainly the chance of both rain and snow will be there on most of the work week days. It will be colder by the end of the week and also we'll see a chance of snow once again. That's why I put the question mark because snow is far from a certainty at this point, but the chance is there and actually when we have chances of precipitation, sometimes this is an easier graphic to, sh to show it. It's a graph of basically the percentage chance of precipitation. On Tuesday, we're becoming more confident that we will see some rain showers, about a 60% chance of that. Then Wednesday through Saturday, look at all this. We have a 30% chance of rain or snow on Wednesday. After that, the temperatures do start to get colder, so it does look like it would be in the form of snow if we happen to get these storms. Again, a lot of little disturbances in the atmosphere. A lot of these could end up missing us, so we need to look at more information in the coming, to, in coming days to make a final call on the precipitation for the end of the week. Right now on live Pinpoint Doppler 12, we're not finding any precipitation as we have relatively clear conditions. And on the satellite picture, notice high pressure in control pushing away most of the clouds and precipitation. Actually, that center of high pressure slides down to the south overnight into tomorrow, allowing some of that milder air to funnel in. In terms of precipitation, don't see any through the daylight hours of tomorrow, so I fast forward the clock all the way until tomorrow night. This is right around midnight, the green representing the chance of showers, and the chance of showers stays with us into the mid morning hours of Tuesday, potentially into the afternoon. Could see some pockets of heavy rain, but temperatures should be mild enough to keep this all rain, no snow at this point. We backtrack and look at tonight temperatures in the low 30s to upper 20s, 29 degrees by 5 o'clock in the morning, and then into tomorrow, 35 degrees, kind of a cool start in the morning. By noontime, we're up to 48 degrees, and by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, mild with a temperature around 50. It will be a little breezy, breezes between 10 to 15 miles an hour with a few gusts up to around 20, but not nearly as windy and gusty as what we saw today. You can see upper 40s here in northern Rhode Island, 48 in Burville, 48 Foster, situate 47 degrees and 51 in Johnston. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures upper 40s to low 50s with 50 in Taunton, Fall River at 50 degrees, upper 40s from Middletown down into Little Compton. Seven day future cast shows the likely rain showers on Tuesday and then it's just a bunch of chances. Tough to really pinpoint this, but at this point it doesn't look like any big storms on the horizon. I'm keeping my eye on next weekend. There's the potential that something significant could develop, but at this point that does not look like it'll happen, but we need to look at more data in the coming days to make the final call on next week. And of course, you can always get more information over on WPRI.com. You can check apps for your iPhone and your Android phone. So mild start to the week, Kelly, and then things getting a little more interesting for the middle of the week. All right, but no, uh, I'm no single digits on there, so that's yeah. That's we good don't so have far. brutally cold temperatures for most of the week. It does look like it gets a little bit colder by the end of the week and next weekend. Yeah, but after what we've experienced, I think we hey, can pretty much handle we're that. Tough. We can handle anything after that cold, right? All right, exactly. All right, Pete. Thanks so much. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 10. No apologies from former Defense Secretary Robert Gates.